What is going on everyone? Commodore Last here today brings you guys my live reaction to the Haikyuu Haiku Manga Chapter 316. Now, the chapter has just come out, you know, a little while ago. Shout out to the Viz, of course, providing chapters week in and week out because they're performing God's work as they should be. <sighs> and I've been dying for this chapter, man. It's been like a long, long, long day at work. I was like, you know, like there for like 10 straight hours, man. Just, you know, putting in the time and effort and everything. In the back of my mind, I'm like, yo, there's two things I need to enjoy. The first one I just got out of the way, you know, was the season finale to Euphoria, which uh, it, it, it mangled me to the point where I needed to at least conclude my night on a very good note. And it's at least to read the Haiku Haipu. And going into this chapter we had saw last week, I am Korai Hoshiyumi. All right. Y'all know that, look, I am on the Sakaza hype train. I, I firmly believe that man is the number one in all of Japan. But Hoshiyumi is in his second year as a Sakaza. And, and the things he's doing right now, it's like, when I look at who's about to take, you know, those spots that are going to be left behind by Kiryu and Ushijima, it's like, he's in that conversation. He, If anything, he's probably the number two. Even He might be fighting for number one with Sakuza after the stuff we're seeing right now and the fact that he's not fully developed yet it's crazy and then seeing what happened with Suki where you know he saw the three blockers that were about to come his way he's gonna try to go to the sides but they they pretty much did that to try and get him out and you know force himself to you know spike out of bounds which now we have an eight to five lead for Kamadai and I gotta see how things transpire so enough of me talking let's get into the chapter read the greatness 360 40 chapters away too from like 400, which is pretty nuts to think that like, you know, Haikyuu's been out for this long. You figure like it would be way more deeper and stuff, but it's crazy, man, that we're about to be like 40 chapters away from 400. Especially since I was here, I think, well, yeah, 100 chapters ago covering the Inurizaki match and then thinking now, like, here we are. Anyways, let's get into the match. Let's get into the chapter. And see Suki still on all, on his knees, looking at just what transpired. And Tsukishima's quick is out of bounds. 8 to 5, chapter 360, teachings. My, what a sequence. First, Hoshiyumi kun steals the spotlight with his marvelous spike. Bruh, no dying yet. I still can't get Tanaka saying, man. I'm, I'm still alive, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Then immediately afterwards, Kamadai responds to Karsuno's next move with their signature stri strifling triple block. Karsuno set three, first time uh, timeout. It's no wonder the, the hitter... Uh, suddenly instinctively try to go uh to dodge that one quit running away oh yeah because i remember he said that from way from before and stuff so he wasn't trying to run from that but unfortunately it was one of those scenarios where he just they got him after i preached at the after i preached at the king earlier too ugh, so pathetic you like, remember what happened with kageyama all right let's back our attacks another half step off the net that should give our hitters a little more space to get a better view of the blockers yes coach hey could i Oh, the switch is over right now, Yachi. Come on, guys, you can do it. Timeout's over. So I guess we're not going to see the conversation between uh, Hirugami and Oshiyumi then. Hakuba going for his third serve. Goes over. It's going right to Suki. Sukishima comes in, gets the receive. Damn it, my legs are so heavy. I mean, the, uh, I mean I've been saying for the longest time, man, the damn fatigue is going to come in. It's going to ruin Karasuno. Even though I need it, but like, I don't wear the shirt. Like, yo... Dilemmas, man. Tanaka! Ah, he comes in, smacks it right over, goes off the blocker. Yeah, good kill. Looks like Tsukishima is starting to put uh, to hit the limits of his stamina. Wait, did it go for a point, though, to um, to come with that? Because it looks like it's going tra trajectory uh, downwards. Let's see. Nope. It got over? Hold on. Wait, so they got the point? Or it went out? It looks like it went over the line, so I'm guessing that was out. Because the switch is just like transitioning over right now. It goes back to uh, Kamadai. They get the point from their side. Azumane comes in. He gets a point right now. And yeah, look at Suki's right now going for a serve. Hoshiyumi comes in. He tries to hit it, but it looks like he gets blocked in. And it's 11 to 8 right now for Kamadai. So I'm guessing, yeah, they're just moving. The pacing is now starting to pick up. Um, Good bump. Don't worry. I'm still okay out there. You see, you kind of look down like, ah, oh, great kill. Good, good. Now the seat. Get every second of it rest you can. Oh, I don't know. It's 11 to 9. So I guess, like, you know, they didn't change the score just yet. Carson hangs in there, scrambling to catch up. Right now, they're looking for any way they can grab a break point. 
come on, you not to do something. Will you ever learn to be specific? Man. Damn, Macho. Team Captain Sawamura aims to serve at Hoshiyumi. Current rotation. So, Sawamura is coming in now for a serve, and on the opposite side, it's going to be soon Hoshiyumi coming in for his. Oh, no. So, here Gami comes in, tries to hit it, goes to Daichi right afterwards. Yeah, great save. Counter, counter. Stuff him. Sets it up right there for Hinata. Hey, Karai. Both plays on top of you, go block. Oh, <laughs> let him prosper. Even in the loss, let him prosper, man. When you go into the dialogue, I already know what you're setting up. About that one really high jump shot he not to use. They they know. I'm thinking it's something if only he can use. It's something he can only use if he gets to plant both feet before he takes off. What about you? Yeah, most likely. He's only getting that much extra height because he gets a good st uh, good st solid lift off from both feet. Uh, then, while well, I can't say for sure, I figure his guide is probably different. He's only taking off from one foot, and his momentum would tend to send him sideways. I'm betting he can't just use the jump high, I jump there. Oh, going forward, let's make sure we can only we stay only appro appropriately afraid of each, of each one. Wait, going forward, let's make sure we stay only appropriately afraid of each. Okay, okay. What do we say? They're going out for the setup. Right over to Azumani? Double block incoming. Ah, even my brain is getting worn out. And Azumani comes in and he gets stopped. Wow, what a fast. And Tanaka goes in. Oh, like, what? what a fast and tall double block. Hakuba and Hinugami were on point, but Tanaka reacts just as quickly, keeping the ball alive. My voice coming in. It's like, oh, let's go. Noya! Left! Comes in, smacks it over. Asai san! Left, left! Punch it through. Ace of a voice going through. Smack him. Spray the bottom. Let's go. Let's go. And who goes going down? <sighs> you buzz kill. This man sees it right to his chest. And he's like, oh man, no chance. Sends it right back up. You see Curl knows this too, man. Even in the tightest of situations, Hirogami's like, nah, I'm not going to let you have that. Man lean back, literally. Smacks it right back up in the air. Suasan, Korai, so he's gonna set it for Hoshiyumi. And Hoshiyumi just sends a line drive and catches it. It was like right on the lining, too, or like. Well, for a moment, they looked like uh, Azumani had scored. But Kamadai Brindley keeps it alive. Yeah, he. Oh, it was like right on the line, too. But Kamadai Brindley keeps it alive. Sent it to Hoshiyumi on the left. Hirogami kun was particularly impressive, reacting with level headed calm, even being level headed calm. Even to the unexpected. It's amazing how he makes even the most difficult of man maneuvers look easy. <sighs> the young boy's looking on, man. This is my boy Keith. Uh, yo, he sure is good. Yep, we played him once. My boy has experience against this man. Hold on. We only played him once back in middle school. Back then, he was, uh, how to put it. He played kind of like a man possessed, I guess. He's talking about Hirogami, though. Because it's all clear. I mean, look at the design and stuff of the dude that they're looking at right now. That's, that's clearly Hirogami. First time I saw him in high school, I didn't recognize him. Yep, there's no denying he was good. But back then, it felt like he was always on edge, you know? But now, bumping serves is a skill that can be practiced. Blocking is a skill that can be practiced. Even the way you think is a skill that you can practice and perfect. But it was what he taught me that day that becomes the foundation of it all. Yo, I, I really like how the friendship and stuff you know, came into play. Because we saw with Hirogami, man. He was trying and trying and didn't know where he was going to go. And then Hoshimi comes into the mix. He's like, yo, I'll give him one more shot. And clearly, you know, because if he hadn't met him that day, Hirogami, I don't think we'd be playing volleyball right now. Or at least, if he was playing, he wouldn't have, like, you know, at least the um, the energy that he has right now at the moment. Without the white-haired kid, man, coming in. Making a mistake won't kill you. That's facts, man. You learn from your errors. No matter what, listen, some guy tells you to play, you know, in a certain position. You know, you have to do something and something there. You don't get the job done correctly, but you know what? You make the mistake. You learn from it. You perfect it. Become a master at it. He understands that very well. 
Kamada is already running high on, on a wave of momentum. And here comes their best server up to bat. Hoshi Yumi. Look at this dude. Yo, the smile out everything. He's able to get ready to cook. And then Samuro, I think it was going for his server, but it's going to switch to uh, Azamani after. We cut him off at one. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yo. He said, point five. You want one? You want one? Go, you point five. It's coming in. Noya comes in with the receive. Bro, look at this. The energy that's come out. He comes in and makes the receive. But look at this thing going up in the air. And you, you can tell how crazy of a receive that is. When Kagema is having a tough time, but it looks like... Or you know He's going for a dump? No, no, he's going for a dump. All yours. Dump. Dump, dump. True. It will be a dump in most circumstances. Oh, he, this man read it. No. Please tell me he got it. But this is Tobio Kageyama and Hinata Shoyo we're talking about. Oh, it's not going to be easy. He comes in. He stops my boy. Sachiro, man. He comes right in. Stops Hinata's attack. Kuro, Aone looking on. Don't be overconfident. All the middle blockers are looking on. They're like, God damn. From the third years to the first years coming in. It's like, yo, this man is the truth. A man named Sachiro Hirugami is out here. Don't be overconfident. Don't be grow over, don't grow over t uh, timid. All you need is to be patient and observe things objectively. And the both of them leave. I, I love the contrast too to it. They're all like annoyed about what they're seeing because again they play the same position as Hirugami. And it's like man, like how the how the hell like you know can somebody pull off the things that they're doing right now against this kid? I mean, obviously you can say the fatigue's going to come into Karsuno, but. His talent is unreal, man. He smiles away. Hoshimi smiling away. Well, crap. Hey, whoa. It's way too soon to start the gloom parade. And, yo, Daichi comes in. Mr. Receive. And the Bogoto and them looking on. Suki's looking on. Now what's best? Next? What next? And I gotta wait goddamn two weeks for this stupid break. <laughs> oh, man. No. Oh, this chapter, man. I mean, Hirugami got a flex. I need Kamenai to win this match. But at least let my boys prosper before you break my heart, man. Like, Daiji comes in right at the last second to make the receipt. And it's like, are they going to try again for another, you know, the, the super, the high jump? You know, for the, the, the big quick and stuff? Like, because even if you try that out, Hirugami's going to be waiting, man. Like, you're going to have to try for something else that they're not going to expect. Or unless you're going to have to try and break their confidence as much as possible. But keep it going to Hinata. Force as much power as you can through right through the wall. And it's like, yo, now you got to tighten it up. And then afterwards, you can switch to something else. Like, you need some kind of play to happen right now. That's going to take them out of their zone for a second. And then you can flip it to another play. And then have them afterwards, you know, scrambling and thinking, you know, what the next move is going to be. Like, but if they can't get that done, oh, no. It might be Curran's though for Car for uh, Karasuno. But given the fact that, you know, they made this receive right now, you have to think something crazy is about to go down. At least, you know, rack up the points. But let me just see right now, just to be on the safe side, what the, what the score is uh, before going over. So, 19 to, uh, so 12 to 9, to 9 right now. 12 to 9 for Ka Kamadai. And the play is still ongoing right now. So, so if Kamadai gets this point, it'll be 13 to 9. If Karasuno gets this, It'll be 12 to 10 for Kamadai. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. I know this match is going to be epic week in, week out, but like, and I know for a fact that I need the opposing team to win so I can at least say that a second year is guaranteed at the very least, but like, <sighs> this is not going to be easy, man. Like ever, like even though you're getting like a small ray of hope right here, uh, what are the chances that they're gonna actually make this play? I mean, you can say there's a chance they're gonna, they can make it, but the way Hirogami's playing right now, and Oshimis receives and Kasua coming in the mix, and then Yao Ming there, like, don't matter, man. 
But yo, this was a great chapter. I'm gonna have to score this one again, nine out of ten. Like I, I haven't seen a chapter from IQ in a, in a minute, not impress me with at least a little bit of something, and just it makes like you know like going back and look at the match itself as a whole, like you know how amazing it's gonna be when we go back and see like you know all the things that Fudetate since is kind of like been you know putting in here, you know for each character seeing their shine and stuff, and not to mention seeing the fundamentals really come into play. You know, it's just a different style of contrast when it comes to them playing, right? Like, Kamadai going off, like, you know, just the moment. They're thriving in, like, off instinct. Like, there's no strategy. They're just going with the flow. And a side like Karasuno, I mean, they can't really do that, like, right now. I mean, th- it would be great to see them do it, but they got to thrive off strategy. They got to have some kind of game plan to overthrow them. So, you know, I have to wait two weeks, man, just to find out. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. How did you guys feel about this chapter of Haikyuu this week? I need 361 so badly, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens. But like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be a part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Haikyuu week in and week out, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And click on the bell of Shandora to stay up to date with everything that goes on here on the channel. And with that being said, if I don't catch you guys in two weeks' time for 361 of Haikyuu, I will be here for the weekly show and jump draft, which will probably end up including the greatness of the Haikyuu Haifu. Uh, this Friday, August 9th, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, roughly around that time. Uh, more news and stuff will come throughout the week. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next one. So, Commodore Last signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. I'm with the team, yeah, yeah.